Hello guys, it's Catalyst here, and welcome to a new series that I'm starting today. Um, now I'm in a brand new world, um, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm, and yeah, and I'm very excited about starting this series. Um, now I've done a lot of FTB and tech it and all these very complicated things. Now I'm doing something a bit different this time. Um, I'm actually doing the fossils and archaeology mod, and um, basically if you don't know what that adds, it adds dinosaurs and fossils and DNA and all this kind of crazy dinosaur -y stuff. But yeah, um, now I'm probably going to end up calling this series something like Let's Play with Dinosaurs or something, I don't know. But anyway, I'm on an island and I've started a, um, uh, yeah, a fresh world. Um, now, if you have a look in the mini map in the um, corner, I've got, you can kind of see the island. Um, yeah, so I've also added um, not enough items just to help me around with the recipes and stuff, just to make it a bit easier, because I do forget recipes quite often, especially when it's a mod. Um, now, I've gone ahead and built a few things first, and as if you've any, watched any more of my um, Let's Plays, you know that I always get a few resources first. Um, now, I've just been mining a little bit, and I've got a bit of coal, some iron, and I've pre-smelted some as well. I've got a bit of redstone and some other stuff, and yeah, I've got my archaeologist hut here. Oh yeah, and I've nearly forgot to go show you guys. Um, now I have changed my skin for the occasion. I'm now in like an Indiana Jones kind of archaeologist looking skin. I've still got my face and everything though. But yeah, so I'm already I'm prepared for this job. Um, yeah, but as one of my main rules for Let's Play is I don't want to show you guys mining, but unfortunately one of the main parts of this mod to get started off is I need to go mining. Um, so I set up this little thing over here. And um, now I've got my mine. I've got I put danger large drops. I actually did kill myself a couple of times by just walking straight down it. A uh, bit stupid, but yeah. So let's head down here. Now, basically, why I've got to go mining is because um, there's a couple of ores added. And the great thing about this mini map is that it actually shows you the caves. And I hear a zombie and a skeleton. I should probably quickly craft myself a sword. So let's do that. Um, let's just do that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, can I only build a stone one? Yeah, that'll do for now. Okay, so let's build a stone sword and we'll head down there. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, there's a couple of new, well, they're not ores, but they're rocks with fossils in them. Um, so let's die, skeleton. No one likes you. Um, I've got three bones. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, um, here's one. Now, I was mining around. I didn't bother mining any of this because I kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, but there's loads of it in this cave. Now, it's not too rare, but you have to have an iron pick to mine it. So if I try and get stone, it just takes ages. Uh, so let's just quickly add that. And it kind of gives you random drops. You can see I got a bone from one of them. And if we keep mining... Now, what we're hoping to get is fossils, which I just found there. A uh, barrow fossil. And now there's a few different types of fossils. You can also get, like, broken swords and stuff. I'm just going to have to look for the certain stone. Yes, yeah, so you can get broken swords and all sorts of awesome stuff. Um, now what I'm probably going to do is get an analyzer first. Um, and that's what we're going to get our dino DNA from. So we can actually start producing dinosaurs. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get quite a lot of this. Because um, we do need a lot. Um, now there's loads in this cave system and I cannot remember where it all is. But it's just everywhere. So as you can see it's not too rare so you won't have that much trouble finding it. Um, yeah, and I was quite lucky to find this massive cave system, but the um, mini-map does help. So let's just get all of this. Um, right, so what else? Um, yeah, so, yeah, they also add a load of weapons and stuff, which I'll show you. I can actually show you on not enough items, but I'm just going to try and get all these stuff first. Um, so let's keep mining this. Now, I'm going to get a lot of bones from this, and I might be able to tame a couple of wolves or something, I don't know. But it gets, it's pretty cool, this mod. Um, now, I... I'm not sure if I'm going to be setting up a, uh, like a park or just setting up a little house where I'm going to keep all my dinosaurs. Now, if you guys want to suggest something, please go ahead and leave a comment because I'll be very interested of what you guys want me to do. And, um, yeah, where you guys want me to put, even say what dinosaurs and whatever you want. Just say what I should do. Um, right, so how much do I have now? Oh, I hear a zombie somewhere. Where are you, Mr. Zombie? Come out. Hmm. I hear him. Right, so let's head down here, up here. Hmm. Now what I might do is I might just uh, skip some of this mining out because it can get pretty boring. Um, oh, but I was just looking for this other stuff that I found on here, and I think it's called permafrost. Oh, it's a bit of thingy up here. Uh, let's just try and get as many fossils as we can, because then we hopefully won't have to go mining too much. But you do need a lot. Oh, and I just got a skull. Now, I think what I can either do is, let's just have a look at this. I, 
can use that for decoration and it looks pretty awesome. I think what I can also do is I can get that, stick a torch underneath it. Oh yeah, I can also turn it into bone meal, can't I? I'm not going to do that. And put, make a skull lantern. And that that's going to look epic if I get a bunch of them. Let's put them around my base. Oh, didn't mean to chuck that out. Now I'm looking for this permafrost that's near there. Ah, ice, right. Okay, so here we have this permafrost stuff. And basically what it does is it will um, create ice around it to protect it from melting. Oh, that probably wasn't the best idea. Um, but let's try and get into the actual thing. So here we have this permafrost cobble stuff. But when you break that, I'll just give you normal cobble. And basically what it's doing is the stuff inside, which is this stuff, permafrost... Ah, no. Am I just lagging or is that just instantly freezing it back over? Can I break that? Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, so I can get this. And then it can give you a rare drop. I just got a foot. Lovely. I'm just carrying around a foot with me. That is brilliant. Um, can they eat said foot? Oh, wait, I'm not hungry. I'm going to try that later. You guys are probably thinking, God, you're sick, but I like feet. No, that sounded weird. Um, <laughs> right, yeah, but anyway, what we're going to have a look is going to have a look for all these frozen things. Now, the reason why in the permafrost that you can get more stuff is because um, without having to analyse it. Oh, I just got a book. Uh, it's because it's actually, like, I think it's kind of meant to be um, kind of frozen and, like, preserved. I need to just break this with an iron pick. Yes, it's frozen and preserved, so you can get all the stuff whole out of it. And I think what I got um, was fern seeds. Now, that's like Jurassic plants that you need to keep your dinosaur. I've just got another foot. I'm, I'm having a collection of feet now. Can you place the feet? What? I'm not sure what you do with them. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice, it's a weird addition. Um, but yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut and just mine a load of this and then meet you guys back at the server. Okay, guys. Um, now, I'm out of the mine, but um, it's just turned day and there's a lot of mobs out here. Let's just push it on there. Oh, damn it. Yeah, so I'm going to have to deal with a few of these before I get um, analysing and stuff because I don't want them blowing up or everything. Because there's so many around here. Die. Yeah, but I got quite a lot of... Um, fossils and stuff from that little trip. Um, God, there's so many of them. Just all hanging around in the water. Probably not a brilliant idea to live near a beach, but there we have it. Uh, I've got arrows stuck in my chin, but all good archaeologists have some um, problems, I'm sure. Just probably not as extreme as this. Um, right, so yeah, I've got plenty of schools. I even got some books from that. I got some fern seeds, relics. I got a claw, two feet, um, a biofossil, a frozen meat, which I think can be used as a sword in extreme needs, but I'm not going to use that at the moment. I got 49 bones, um, some contributed by the um, skeletons that were trying to kill me, but uh, yeah. So overall, I'd call that a pretty good haul. Um, now, I'm not sure if I should build a different building for the analysing, or if I should just use this bit for now. But let's have a look at the recipe for analysing. And uh, like it. Right. Um, so we need... Four iron, relic scrap, and a biofoot. That's quite cheap, actually. Um, so let's get four iron. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. Uh, one of them and one of them. So let's put that on there. Put that on there. And there we have it, an analyzer. Um, now, unfortunately, I didn't find any broken swords or anything, but I'll hopefully try and find these in here for you. Um... Where are they? Where are they? Oh, here we have it. We've got that ancient sword and like ancient helmet and stuff. And we can um, craft them by putting them on the archaeology craft table. But um, there's not really much point because we don't have any. But now that we have our analyzer, uh, where should we put it actually? I guess I could just stick it here for now and maybe make a proper analyzing chamber later. So I think what we have to do is shove all these in here. Uh, put them in there. Okay, and there we have it. It should start analysing. Actually, should I put all of them in? Because I think you do need to use them as fuel later on. So let's just leave these to analyse. Okay, guys. Um, Sorry, I just crashed then. I'm not sure why. If it was just the analyzer for the first time or anything. But anyway, yeah, so these have started to analyse and they're giving me random stuff. Now, what we're looking for is we want dino DNA. I think that's what we're looking for most. Well, that's the most important thing. Um, but yeah, so we have ninth and three bone meals so it's not exactly the most helpful thing ever we didn't get much out of that but I think should we I think we need to shove our bio fossils in but I don't want to put too many of them in because I know they're used for fuel later um but 
let's just leave those to get on with it. Now we have we what we need to build next is a cultivar, and that's what gonna what well, that's what's going to hack our dinosaurs and um, cactus green now i don't think there are any cacti on this island so i might need to go adventuring to other islands for that which would be a bit annoying um because i kind of wanted to keep stay on this island but i guess i'm going to have to go adventuring a little bit but um not the moment but let's see if we can get our first dino dna oh yes velociraptor let's take that and and, and, and let's cuddle it. Oh, I love you. I love you, Velociraptor. You're probably going to eat me when you're older, but I love you. Um, yeah, so we've got our first dino DNA. I'm really excited. Um, now, another thing we want to build for later on so we can analyse our dinosaurs is the Dinopedia. And that uses one DNA in a book. Now, we've got three books thanks to our um, permafrost, which is that stuff that gave us all the wisdom. We've also got some more fern seeds, which is quite nice. And let's just see if we get anything else from this. We've got bone meal. You know, we could start a farm. That's pretty helpful. And what I might do is, meantime, between episodes, I might build an actual analysing chamber, a professional one. So we're going to look all professional and lovely. It's going to be all really nice. I don't know why it's giving me sand from a biofossil. I guess if the bones have decayed a lot, but I don't know. Um, please give me something good. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, green bar. Give me something good. Oh, biofossil, not the green bar. That's a loading, or oh, whatever. Oh, again, gave me bone meal. But I'm just going to shove some more in there. But anyway, I think we're going to call it the end of this episode. And um, just, yeah, we've got our dino DNA, our first dino DNA. Very excited. Um, it's a velociraptor as well, which are lovely. Oh, if you've seen Jurassic Park or anything like that, you can tell that the the, the nicest of dinosaurs ever. Uh, and the smartest, I think. But, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it an end for that episode, but um, thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this episode, um, please remember to like it and leave a comment if you want me to continue, because I would like your feedback on this. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and also, if you want me to continue doing more videos, please remember to give me a subscribe. All right, then, guys. Thanks for watching.